Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going through 100 items included in my latest wholesale lot that I've sold. Uh, I've sold this lot to Rally Roots out in Florida. Here is his Instagram page. Uh, so thank you very much for buying this lot, Ryan. Uh, Ryan spent $6,000 on this lot, which I think is a very reasonable price for the items that are included. I'm just going to be going through them, showing you what kind of items are included in this lot and popping them in this box here. And what's that? An Instagram handle. Well, <laughs> you should totally follow that. Lars Archive. Oh, give me a follow, boys. You know you want it. Ooh. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Give me a little subscribe down there. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and uh, let's get right into the video. So all of the items that are going into this box have been pre-folded, so I'm kind of reluctant to unfold them. Nerd alert! But I will be putting up pictures of notable ones here, and uh, so you can get a full idea of what they look like. Uh, so let's get into it. The first item on top here is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sweater. This is from the late 80s, I believe, maybe 1988, as it is on a caliber tag there, which is very nice. It says grind that shell on it as well, which is uh, great, and it's got a big turtle on the front of it. So that's the first item in the box. Next up is a t-shirt for the band Faster Pussycat. Got a cat on the front. This is for their 1989 tour. Would have been on a 100% cotton tag, but that has been chopped. Lovely single stitch though, and it's an XL as well. Next up, we have Great White, Fins All Over Europe, that's 1988. This is also an extra large on a 100% cotton tag, although this tag is intact. Uh, single stitch as well, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's got nice sort of gold detailing to this one on the, on the guitar. So yeah, there we go, there's that one. Next up, we have Michael Jackson. Uh, this is for his 1995 tour, I believe. It's on a big Screens, Screen, screen Stars original T tag on a, on a size large. Single stitch as well. There's old MJ doing his little boogie. This is a t-shirt, more of an art tee. It has a dog with some devil horns. And he's uh, in quite a long outfit there. Uh, this is by an artist called William Wegman, uh, and this t-shirt is from 1995. Uh, no tag in this one, but it is single stitch, nice and bold, stands out, and uh, it's got the doggo on it. And who doesn't love a doggo, eh? Right, so there's that one. Next we have a Sepultura t-shirt. This is the, ooh, what is it, 1993, this one, I believe. Let me double check that. 1992, 1992, blue, 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 Single stitch, really nice item this one. Good graphic on the front. This t-shirt is on a 100% cotton tag. It's an XL and it's for a band called Blow. You can kind of only see the L there, but it does say Blow. Uh, and it features a goat on the front with some spiraling eyes. I believe the back print has a big marijuana leaf on it as well. Uh, but yes, this is a good t-shirt. I can't say I know any of this band's music, but I do enjoy this front graphic quite a lot. So there's that one. Nice bit of cracking to it as well. This one is a Simple Minds t-shirt uh, from the 80s, if I am not mistaken. Let me double check that for you as well. Ooh, it's close, it's 1991. This is a 100% cotton Balmore tag. Uh, big, nice, colorful graphic on this one. Single stitch as well. Jethro Tull, this one. Uh, lovely fading to this t-shirt. It's got a great grey colour to it. Completely faded tag. It's got a uh, picture of a sort of porthole with a, with someone holding a, a flute or something. 
This next t-shirt is on one of my favourite kind of tags. This is on a gem tag or great entertainment merchandise tag. It's an XL and it is a big old frog. This is for Peter Gabriel's Kiss That Frog gem tag XL. Great wear to it, single stitch. Here we have U2 uh, Pop Mart and it comes with the original uh, ticket there for the show, which is pretty awesome. You can see it in the picture there. 1997 this one, or at least that's when the show was. It's on a XL uh, Vintage Fruit of the Loom tag, which is another great tag. I know that that's Ryan's favorite tag, so he'll have great fun looking at that one. I just love the tag, the old Fruit of the Loom. Single stitch, uh, it's an XL as well. This is a nice 100% cotton faded tag, XL, uh, Wolfsbane, nice big graphic to this one. Uh, this is a single stitch and uh, yeah, nice item. Here we have a classic Batman tee folded right on the graphic there. I should, I need Callie to do my folds, Ryan, that's what I need. Uh, this is on a Screen Stars large tag, single stitch for the 1989 Batman, is that correct, 1989? Uh, it says underneath the graphic here, 1964, but you'd be hard pushed to find a Batman t-shirt from 1964. I've not seen one, that's for sure. Uh, so there we go. This one is another lovely, lovely t-shirt. I was wearing this in my first video when I showed you through my collection. Don't forget to check out that video if you haven't already seen it. It's on a beautifully faded Screen Stars tag. Uh, and this is a Greenpeace Save the Rainforest t-shirt. Lovely, lovely wear on this one. Um, and yeah, great message behind it too. Save the Rainforest, buy vintage, buy my stuff. There we go. This is a big all over print front and back Celine Dion t-shirt, got Celine's face all over it. Uh, and what's most notable about this t-shirt is that it is signed by the lady herself back in 1999. Big signature on the front here in the white area of it. It's on a Toltux 2XL tag as well. Got some of the graphic printed over the tag, which is something that I always like seeing. Uh, and yeah, this is just a great item. Next up we have another Michael Jackson tee. This one is earlier than the first one we had. It's a size large for his 1988 tour, is that correct? Uh, it's the green one. Anyone who knows vintage Michael Jackson tees will know this t-shirt just from this little teaser of it here. Uh, yeah, Springford Classic Large, single stitch. Uh, it's got the Pepsi merchandising on the back, just a little Pepsi hit, I remember that. This one is a large Rolling Stones tee. Uh, this features the band on it here. It's got Rolling Stones up here. Completely faded on this tag, single stitch. Nice wear to it. Just classic Rolling Stones tee. This one is for their Urban Jungle tour, I believe. Yes, Urban Jungle, which was 1990. See, this, is, this video is a test for me to remember all the info, because I can't unfold these t-shirts. Uh, so. So there we go, yeah, I believe I believe Urban Jungle was 1990. Um, next up we have a more recent t-shirt, but it is still vintage, I think. This is on a Harlequin tag. It is an all over print dolphin tee. Dolphins all over it, front and back print. Not single stitch, uh, but it's got that lovely Harlequin tag there. So the next t-shirt we have for this lot is a WCW Wrestling, uh, World Championship Wrestling t-shirt. Uh, it is a XL on 100% cotton tag, 1993 this one. It's got on the back of it various names of different wrestlers that uh, competed in the 1993 WCW Championship. Uh, this is a lovely closed single stitch, big size, wrestling tee, classico. Next up we have a UB40 t-shirt, here we go. This is most of the graphic, you can see there. This is almost a Cali fold, but not quite. Yeah, so this is on a lovely 1980s Fruit of the Loom tag. Very nice item, single stitch, early UB40 tee, can't go wrong. This next t-shirt is a Marillion t-shirt. Uh, it is for their 10th anniversary, I believe. 
Yes, it's got a big X on it, so I'm going to assume that's a 10. Uh, yeah, Marillion 1992 t-shirt. This is an XL single stitch, 100% cotton, Balmore tag. Uh, I know that uh, Sickmate, if you watch Sickmate on YouTube, which you definitely should, uh, he has this t-shirt. I've seen him wearing this and he styled it in an outfit as well. Uh, and he styled it very well. So, great item. You know it's good if Sickmate is repping it. So, there we are. This next t-shirt is uh, one of the smaller t-shirts in the lot, as it is a size small, but it is a 1981 Def Leppard tee, so a nice early Def Leppard tee, high and dry, you've got the graphic there of the guy doing a dive into a swimming pool, it is a single stitch, it's on a completely crumpled but still quite visible tag if you uncrumple it, it's one of those USA tags from the early 80s, and yeah, just nice early Def Leppard for you. This next t-shirt has a wonderful, wonderful fade to it as well. Uh, it is on a 100% cotton tag, extra large, and is for Great White. This one is slightly later than the previous Great White tee that I showed you. That one was Fins All Over Europe, which was 1988. This one is not 1988, and it is in fact, let me see. 1991, and I remember that now because it has a big 1991 back print to it. Uh, it's got great wear to the graphic on this, got a woman on the anchor there, and yeah, nice item. This next t-shirt is an Austin Powers tee, it's got the Austin Powers tag there, little Austin Powers hit on the front, just a small little logo there for you. The back print on this one is a fat bastard logo, uh, it's sort of like a cartoon looking version of uh, Fat Bastard there. This is a great t-shirt, it's an XL, uh, yeah, just nice classic original Austin Powers t-shirt. This next one is a Wu-Tang Clan sort of zip-up polo. It's got a Wu-Tang hit on the front here on the chest and the back of this one has a big Wu-Tang hit on it as well. This is a size XL, it's got the zip on the front, got Wu-Tang on the zip, Wu-Tang on the back, Wu-Tang on the front, Wu-Tang on the sleeve, Wu-Tang all up in this B, right? Boom. Okay, so the next t-shirt going in the box is the Milton Keynes Festival 1999, Metallica at the top there, great fade to this t-shirt, it's an XL, would have been on a Screen Stars tag, a nice 1999 Screen Stars tag, although it has been chopped. Uh, yeah, great wear to this graphic, Metallica headlining I guess, uh, the back print to this has all the bands that performed there, Marilyn Manson was there that year, uh, Sepultura were there that year. Uh, all sorts of great names were there that year as well. Uh, this festival would have been crazy to go and see, and this is a lovely t-shirt to match. Next up we have a, rather plain looking there, but it does get exciting when I turn it over. This is a magic, it says there, it's a Lakers tee, uh, 1990s Lakers tee on a large Salem tag, single stitch as well. Nice wear to the, to the, to the writing on it too. Next up we have another Wolfsbane t-shirt. Uh, this one is from the year 1990, Wolfsbane there, and it's got sort of a half and half between a girl and a skull on it. Uh, speaking of skulls, I'm wearing one right here. This is my one of my favorite tees, this is Misfits. Uh, but uh, regardless of that, this is Wolfsbane, another single stitch, large super tees, oh, an extra large super tees tag. Uh, so yeah, great item again for the box. Next up we have a 1980s Queen tee. This is uh, like a baseball style tee. The arms are brown. The t-shirt itself is sort of a beigey color. Got the big Queen sort of logo on it there. And it is on a large spruce tag, a nice 80s spruce tag. Single stitch this one and uh, any Queen from the 80s, I'm in. This t-shirt here is a 90s Paul Rogers t-shirt. It is a size large, nice wear to this one, great cracking to the graphic and a nice silvery text on uh, Rogers' name there. This next t-shirt is a Chicago Bulls t-shirt from the 90s. I don't think it has a specific date on it, but it is on a vintage Fruit of the Loom tag, size large, Chicago Bulls, 
It's uh, got sort of neon colours to it. You've got neon orange, neon uh, green or yellow or whatever we want to call that colour. Uh, yeah, there we go. Single stitch, Chicago Bulls, Night is, Fruit of the Lone Large. Lovely stuff. And then I just love the tag, the old Fruit of the Loom size large tag. And I grew up watching the Bulls, so such a cool Chicago Bulls Jordan graphic. This next t-shirt is on a very nice anvil tag, an anvil size at large. It's for Fishbone and it's uh, for their 1991 sort of tour uh, or album. Uh, yeah, this is a ringer t-shirt, so as you can see there, it's got this sort of black uh, collar to it and it's got the same on the sleeves. Uh, it's a ringer because it's got those rings of colour, so there we go. This next t-shirt is on a Hanes Beefy T tag. It is an XXL and it is a Jurassic Park tee. This is an original promotional Jurassic Park tee, so it is dated 1992. Uh, yeah, it's just got that nice little front hit to it. Nothing too crazy about this one, but it is big, it is on a Hanes, and it is single stitch, so this is a lovely item. This next t-shirt is uh, a Fear Factory t-shirt. Uh, this is, I think, the only blue grape tag I've owned to date, uh, but it is very faded, so you can't even really see it is a blue grape. But it is, I promise you, uh, Fear Factory has got them as sort of little cartoony looking characters, all in their band there. The fade on this t-shirt is wonderful, the wear to the graphic is wonderful. Blue grape merchandising, everyone loves blue grape. I know Red Rum Retro, I know you love a bit of blue grape. Uh, so yeah, there we go, here we are. Next up we have a sort of older cartoon, I don't know what this cartoon is, but I think my mom and dad know what this cartoon is, so that says something about it. Uh, it's a size XL, it's uh, a Dan Dare sort of uh, t-shirt, he says, saying, surfing satellites, and it's just him sort of in space, in his spacey outfit, Dan Dare. Uh, yeah, this is from 1994, this one, not a single stitch but it is an early 90s and it's uh, got that great sort of cartoony graphic to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start going through the other pile now. We've got still a few down here, but I'll save these till last as they're, uh, they're pretty nice ones. Uh, not that the rest aren't nice, uh, as we can tell, because I'm starting here with a nice original Nike tag. This is the silver sort of Nike tag, white sort of border to it, red Nike logo, and it is an original Jordan T. Now this is lovely, uh, fantastic wear to this. This is an original early 90s Michael Jordan basketball Nike T. So can't really go wrong with that. Single stitch as well. Just beautiful. That Nike tag is wonderful. Next up we have an Alabama t-shirt from 1999. It's got a little front hit on the front here. It says Alabama in sort of glittery red writing. It's quite nice. Might be a bit overexposed for you there, uh, but there we go. It's on a Tall Tux large tag, so a 1999 Tall Tux tag. Uh, the back print of this one has the name of the band Alabama just a bit bigger as well. So this is uh, a bit more of a plain t-shirt, but it's got a great tag. And uh, Alabama is, you know, not unnotable. So there we are. This next item is dead stock in the packaging. Uh, this is a lovely, lovely item indeed. It is a another Queen t-shirt. Let me see so that's not glaring at you. Queen Rocks, uh, 1990, ooh, 1995, I believe, 1995. Screen Stars XL dead stock in the packaging. You can't go wrong. This one's insane. <laughs> Brand new in the bag. Um, I did open it just because black tea, you know, tend to get dry rot, but I opened it and this one's, this one's perfect for a dead stock tea. On the old screen stars tag, Queen Rocks tea. It's great. Next t-shirt we have here is a 1991 Foreigner t-shirt. Says Foreigner on the front. It's on 100% cotton large tag. It's got a similar sort of back print, I think. It's uh, for their tour in 1991, which has something to do with heat in the tunnel. I am unsure. 
Uh, I know I'll look back on this and I'll know what it is, but there we go. 1991 Foreigner. Nice t-shirt, single stitch as well. Here we have our third Wolfbane t-shirt of the lot. This is another nice original Wolfbane tee. Big spooky looking face on the front there. This one is on a large 100% cotton tag and is for 1991 as well. So there we go. Uh, yeah, nice Wolfbane t-shirt. Here we have one of the few white t-shirts in the lot. This is a size XL and is for Genesis. This is uh, for uh, one of their 80s tours. I can't remember exactly, but it's got uh, quite nice colors on it with all these different arrows. Uh, so yeah, lovely clean item as well. For being from the 80s, this tee still has a lovely whiteness to it. Next up, we have a Mike and the Mechanics t-shirt. This one is also from the late 80s, I believe. Got a big mechanic sap there on the front of this one, and the back print has a few sort of tools and bits of the trade for mechanics. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is a nice one. Mike and Mechanics, again, not an unnoteworthy band, and this is probably one of the better t-shirts you will get from that band, so there we go. Next up we have another Genesis t-shirt. This is a black tee and probably one of the more desirable uh, Genesis tees. Uh, it would have been on a Super Tees tag and it's faded and it is for their invisible uh, touch tour. This one, uh, th this sort of cracking is actually part of the graphic on this t-shirt. I remember the first variation of this tee I had, it was a bit more faded than this and I thought that was all actual uh, wear. Uh, but it is part of the graphic. Uh, the graphic on this one is actually pretty clean uh, and in pretty good nick actually. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice one. Here we have another white tee. This is for a band called Heart. You may know them. Uh, quite a colourful t-shirt this one. I like white tees when they have these sort of like uh, neon colours to them or just primary colours. This is quite pleasant this one. Got a bit of purple on it as well there and has the band members on the front of it too. Uh, yeah, nice single stitch heart tee. And we have another Genesis tee. Now I've mentioned the other two are quite nice. This one is probably the most recognizable Genesis tee. Uh, it's got the graphic of the chap stood on the front there with Genesis written at the bottom in there, sort of uh, classic Genesis writing, I don't know what you'd call that, the Genesis calligraphy, I, I don't know. Uh, this is 100% cotton tag, single stitch, nice original Genesis. Next up is this all over print t-shirt. This is on a sort of early, well late 90s uh, JT's tag, it's a size large. Uh, it would, you can't really make it out here, but it would have a big tiger all over it. Uh, front and back print of this one is a big monochrome sort of tiger. So that's just a nice AOP or all over print. The next t-shirt we have here is a 1994 Star Trek t-shirt. This is also on a JT's tag. That all over print tag was uh, an orange JT's which is more of a late 90s. This one is 1994 and is on a yellow JT's tag. This is also an XL, uh, Star Trek as I say, sort of got a nice Star Trek-y uh, graphic to it there. Good colours on this one, nice blue, nice purple, and it is, as I say, an XL, and it certainly fits that way. Next up, we have another vintage Anvil tag here. This is a red large Anvil tag from 1994, and you might be able to tell what this t-shirt is. If I turn it over, you definitely should. There we go, it's Barbara Streisand herself. Uh, she's looking looking fine, looking fine on this tee. This is a size large, single stitch, uh, just a nice classic Streisand tee. This next t-shirt is on a late 90s Screen Stars tag and it is 007 Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, the 007 on this has a nice sort of glittery uh, silver uh, to it. Uh, as I say, size large, screen stars, single stitch. Uh, I know the boys in Winchester at 99 Vintage have sold this t-shirt before. I believe my friend uh, Will, Will Court, uh, you should check out his Instagram as well. Uh, he has bought this t-shirt and he's starred it in a few of his pictures too. Uh, so yeah, nice item, classic James Bond, boom. 
And this next t-shirt is a early 2000s or late 90s bootleg, uh, not fake, bootleg Pink Floyd t-shirt. Uh, it's on a 100% cotton tag, it says size medium, but could fit a large this one. Uh, Pink Floyd in blue writing at the top, and it's got the sort of division bell uh, characters on it, but they've got red eyes on this one, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I like this bootleg, I've seen this bootleg sell for quite a lot of money actually. Um, I've got a proper division bell t-shirt in this lot as well, which I will show you later. Uh, but this bootleg is just nice, just to see that variation with the characters with the red eyes. Makes them look a bit more evil. Here we have the first Signal tag of the lot. Signal Sport, size medium. This is an all-over print Save the Whales t-shirt. This is very nice, this one. It's got uh, various whales on it. If I turn it over, you can see a few of the whales here. You've got blue whales, uh, killer whales, orca whales. You've got all sorts. Killer whales and orca whales? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah, no, this is a great t-shirt. Single stitch. Uh, Signal Sport tag as well. Very nice t-shirt all over print, like I say, an AOP. So earlier on we had a large Michael Jackson tee from 1988, and here we have the same t-shirt but XL. This is the same tag as well, Spring Forward Classic. Uh, it's got Michael there on the front, that classic sort of green colorway to it. Yeah, just real nice this one. Single stitch as well, so Ryan is getting the large and the XL. Enjoy that, enjoy both of those. Next up we have a cult t-shirt, or the cult. Uh, this is on a completely faded tag and uh, is for, ooh, no, let me see, I'm testing myself again. Ceremonial Stomp, I believe, is the name of the album for this t-shirt. Uh, this is a lovely one. It does say the cult in red writing, sort of up the side of it. Uh, yeah, nice big colorful graphic on this one. It's got that pinkiness to it with the cult symbol there. Uh, with the green in it as well. Got the band members on the front, and yeah, single stitch, Colt. This is the European uh, variation of this too, so it'd be nice for Ryan to get uh, a European variation in the States. Uh, might fetch a bit more because of that. It is a bit rarer than the uh, blue version. I think there's a blue and red version of this t-shirt, so it'd be nice to get the pink and greeny version. Next up we have a beautiful, beautiful white snake t-shirt. White snake at the top in red writing there. The white snake sort of seal on the front. 1994 white snake. Yeah, this has a wonderful fade to it. Uh, there was a chap in Winchester who I sold white snake t-shirts to. Uh, unfortunately, he's gonna have to miss out on this one. This would be a lovely addition to his collection, I'm sure, as this is one of the better kinds of white snake tees. Size large as well. White snake is classic. Next up we have a Skid Row t-shirt. As you can see, Skid Row in red at the top there. This is a size XL, 100% cotton, single stitch, uh, big guns it's for. So it's got a lady on the front with her big guns out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so there's this one. I believe this is 89, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I am not mistaken. Yeah, 1989, Skid Row, Big Guns. Back print of this, I think, just says Big Guns. There we go. Now, this t-shirt isn't worth a fortune, but it's definitely one of my favorite t-shirts in this lot. Uh, it is on one of my absolute favorite tags. It's on a Changes tag. It's a size large Changes tag as well. And if you can see from that, it's a Foghorn Leghorn t-shirt. There's his body. That looks a bit morbid, actually. It looks like he's had a a chicken run incident there with an axe, but yeah, there we go. Uh, Foghorn Leghorn, this is 1992, 1992 Foghorn Leghorn. Big on the front, it's him snapping his fingers and he looks wonderful. Uh, I like Foghorn Leghorn uh, as a character, mainly because of just how he looks, but also because uh, he's referenced in Eminem's song, Role Model, is it Role Model? Um, it's one of the early Eminem songs, so there we go. Nice Foghorn Leghorn tee. Next up here we have a Testament t-shirt, the band Testament. This is on an XL Brockham tag, really nice. Uh, it's got the big sort of yellow writing for Testament at the top. It's got the graphic on there of some sort of 
Grim Reaper type figures surrounding the globe. Uh, I believe the date on this one is testing myself again. I want to say this is early 90s, this one. Nice Testament T, XL Brockham tag, single stitch. Nice one. Next up we have an Anthrax t-shirt. This is an Anthrax t-shirt on an XL Brockham tag as well. Uh, here we go, it says Anthrax in yellow there and has the Judge Dredd looking character with the USA sort of flag in the background as well. Lovely, lovely fade to this one. Uh, it is dated as well, but I do forget the date on this one at the moment. Really strong graphic on this one. Anthrax as well, a classic band, so yeah. Next up we have a, another Haynes tag, although this is a Haynes Ultra Weight in an XL and it is for a band called Sacred Reich. Uh, on the front graphic you've got a sort of uh, man in a gas mask sort of carrying in fear with a thing. <laughs> it's uh, not, not the nicest graphic on this one in terms of subject matter but it's Sacred Reich, I mean, what do you expect? Uh, yeah, nice single stitch, XL, Haynes tag, original Sacred Reich. Next up we have a Onita uh, Power 50 tag, which is a lovely one, and this is for, can you make that out there? ACDC, there we go, this is for Razor's Edge, uh, which is 1990. Uh, let's just have to check that there. Uh, yeah, 1990, great fade to this one. Uh, this Onita tag was hanging off when I got it, but I got my lovely mum to sew it back on for you, Ryan. So uh, that is the original tag on it. Um, yeah, just great wear to this. Razor's Edge, ACDC, boom. Next up, we have another Testament T. This is on another Brockham XL tag. We're getting all the Brockhams here. Uh, Testament in green on this variation and has a chap, a lovely looking happy chap <laughs> in a nice big black hood with devilish hands uh, signing something maybe in blood. Uh, so that's always nice. Uh, single stitch on this one. Uh, I believe this is the 1990 Book of Souls kind of variation. Forgive me Testament fans if I've got that horribly wrong. Um, but here we go, yeah. Nice Testament T. XL Brockham. So next we have a Megadeth t-shirt. You can see at the top here just a little bit, you've got Megadeth written along here, uh, and you've got their classic figure on it as well. This is 1987, so quite a nice early Megadeth t-shirt. It uh, would be on a Super Tees tag, this one. It fits more of a medium, a single stitch as well, and like I say, just nice early Megadeth with the classic uh, chap on the front there. Next up we have a Madonna t-shirt. This is 1993 for her girly world tour. Uh, it's on a nice, nice XL screen stars tag up there. It's got Madonna with her little sort of uh, sailor's hat, I guess, or pilot's hat. I think sailor. Uh, it's got her doing a little dance there again. She looks like she's been beheaded here. Uh, but ignore that, there's a red. Uh, and this is a nice single stitch XL uh, girly show, girly show, that was it, yes. Very nice. Okay, so next up we have a nice vintage The Cure tee. This is on an XL 100% uh, cotton tag and it's got that big graphic of the kind of red looking starfish looking dude. I believe the back print for this one is a bit different to some of the other variations of this t-shirt as it has some of the UK touring locations on the back of this one, which is nice to see. Okay, next up we have a 1990 Guns N' Roses t-shirt. This is on an XL 100% cotton tag. Uh, I believe this one is single stitch. You can see the top of the top part here, and there it is. There's a big graphic on this one, nice big graphic. You've got a skull with guns behind it and blood everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, just a classic Guns N' Roses sort of design there. Got the name of the band on it too at the top, and nice XL size. So next up is another classic band. We have uh, a very faded t-shirt here. Uh, as you can see, it's very gray, and you can see some sort of spikes of hair there. And this is for Iron Maiden. 
This is a classic 1988 design on this one. It's quite a boxy fit to this, but it fits a good XL as well, I think. Just a bit short, that's all. Um, but yeah, wonderful fading to the graphic on this one. Got the skull with, uh, or the eddy, with Iron Maiden in his mouth there as well. Single stitch on this one. Heavy t-shirt too, if you can feel the weight of this t-shirt. Uh, yeah, just a really nice classic Iron Maiden tee. Next up we have a t-shirt for Spinal Tap and uh, this is a t-shirt for their album or tour of Bitch School. Uh, as you can see it's got uh, a lovely lady with a graduation cap on and uh, she's just out for a little walk, I guess. Just, just, just a walk on all fours. Um, but there we go, uh, nice original Spinal Tap tee on an uh, extra large 100% cotton tag. So. Classico. Next up we have another Guns N' Roses t-shirt. This is slightly earlier, this is 1989. Extra large, 100% cotton tag, you'd expect nothing less. Uh, it has the graphic of all the sort of chaps in the band there, it has skeletons with their hair, uh, all looking good around the Guns N' Roses logo in the middle. As I say, 1989, I believe this was at uh, at a Coliseum somewhere, I can't remember off the top of my head too well, uh, but yeah, uh, great item, I'm sure the tour for this was fantastic, as most Guns N' Roses tours have been, I know they used the Illusion tour raked in the cash for them, uh, this is slightly earlier than that tour, but they would have still been doing very well at this period of time. Next we have a long sleeve, this is a 100% cotton large for Fear Factory, uh, it's got a big graphic there of a uh, sort of slightly techno sort of looking scene. Uh, like I say, this is a long sleeve, so it's got the Fear Factory logo, the FF, sort of down the sleeves of this one. Uh, and I believe the back print has some of the tour information on it too. But just a nice long sleeve Fear Factory tee. Okay, so next up we have another Iron Maiden t shirt. This Iron Maiden tee is on a splash tag, which is one that I have rarely seen. It's a size large. We have the 1988 one before. This one is 1989 and it is uh, for Don't Walk. So it has, the, has Eddie on a bike there. Don't Walk on the, uh, on the light of the bike. Single stitch, good size on this one. Just another great Iron Maiden team. We've had one QRT and now we've got another one as well. This is an extra large, 100% cotton tag. Uh, this is for The Wish. Uh, it's got a nice big graphic on the front there. And uh, I believe, yes, it does have a back graphic. XL, QRT, nice original one. The Wish, great item. Okay, next up we have this lovely lovely faded Metallica t-shirt. This is on a large uh, Hantex tag. Uh, there we go, it's 1991. It's got the two skulls on the front there. A wonderful fade to it. It's got the mirror on the back print. Just a great Metallica tee, a staple for any Metallica collector. Lovely, lovely fading as I say, and a fantastic tag. Size large, uh, so it fits nice too. Single stitch, can't go wrong. This next t-shirt is on a Spring Forward Large and is for Pink Floyd. Uh, this is the 1987 t-shirt with the sort of strobe lights on the front graphic there. The back has some tour information on it. Single stitch as well. Uh, like I say, Spring Forward is a lovely tag. I enjoy seeing sp uh, Spring Forwards. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's another great item. Okay, so my battery did in fact die, and it is now a different day, but thanks to the magic of editing, hopefully this all lines up all right. Uh, so next up, we've got a 1984 uh, Ghostbusters t-shirt. So it's got the little Ghostbusters logo, and underneath the logo it says, I gossiped on the ghost line with Coca-Cola. Uh, as I say, this is 1984, so a nice original Ghostbusters t-shirt, super tees, size large, fits more of a medium, single stitch as well, lovely item. I should also mention uh, that 
This Ghostbusters t-shirt is also uh, glow in the dark as well, which is pretty awesome. The, uh, the white of the ghost on the front and this writing here is all glow in the dark, which is pretty awesome. Same as this Misfits t-shirt, actually. This is also glow in the dark, so these are two nice original glow in the dark tees. Ghostbusters Coke movie collab. Crazy one. This next t-shirt is a 1988 Iron Maiden t-shirt, the evil that men do, Iron Maiden at the top, with uh, quite a big graphic on it, this one. Uh, really cool sort of eddy design here with a man in a cage in his mouth, uh, dated underneath the graphic, the evil that men do. This is a nice single stitch t-shirt, quite a long t-shirt due to the time of it being made, uh, but yeah, still great, nice faded tag as well. So, great Iron Maiden tee. This next t-shirt is for the Ramones. This is another white tee in the lot, completely faded tag. This one fits like an XL. Uh, Gabba Gabba Hey, uh, I believe is the name of this one. Uh, it's got that sort of neon -y orange graphic with the, with the chap riding on the, on the missile there. Uh, yeah, just a really nice, clean, uh, original Ramones tee. This one's nuts because I just don't see Ramones tees very often. So, and this is a pretty crazy graphic. Ramones, this one's from, to 94, I think? 91, 91 UK tour. Next up, we have U2. This is 1993. Got the sort of big all over print, sort of Spaceman on this one. Uh, U2 Zeropa uh, on the chest. XL Vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. Single stitch, can't go wrong. Next up we have a Guns N' Roses tee. This is the split Use Your Illusion sort of graphics and we've got yellow one side, blue on the other side. Single stitch, XL, 100% uh, cotton tag. Uh, this one is uh, a 1992 one, so not the start of the tour but sort of halfway through it. I guess that could be to do with the half and half. It is sort of halfway through that tour. Uh, but yeah, just another nice Guns N' Roses t-shirt here. Next item we have is Prince. Uh, this is a Prince European Tour t-shirt. Got the nice sort of blue Prince writing on, on this t-shirt. It says Prince down it. Prince's face on it as well there. Uh, I believe his face is also on the back print of this t-shirt. This is for his 1990 European Tour. Uh, tag on this one is completely faded. Looks like it might have been a Screen Stars tag and is definitely single stitch as well. Uh, shout out to Triple Threat Vintage for hooking me up with this one. Okay, so the next t-shirt we have here is uh, Chicago Bulls back-to-back -back world champions 1992 this one. Uh, so the graphic for this one is the two uh, champion rings there. Got the red one and the sort of teal colored one. This is on a Haynes uh, heavyweight large tag. Lovely single stitch on this one. Nice fade to it too. Great wear to the graphic. Just a lovely Chicago Bulls uh, tee there. Next up is Iron Maiden from 1990. You've got the Iron Maiden across the top here and uh, the guy in the road, Eddie in the road there with his sort of hook hand. Uh, that's it and someone's sort of cowering and he's grabbed someone and they're cowering in fear. Uh, yeah, 1990. This is just a lovely, uh, another nice Iron Maiden tee. Completely faded tag on it. This fits like a sort of XL, this one, so that's a great sizing. Nice fade to it as well. Next up is another t-shirt from 1990. This is AC DC. Uh, this would be for Razor's Edge, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or, and it features the name of the band here, AC DC. And it's got the graphic of the sort of devil dude on the cannon on this one. This is on a Hantex tag and is more of a baseball style sort of tee as well. It's got the white sort of arms to it and a uh, nice faded black sort of body there. Almost grey this one, a uh, great fade to it. Good wear to it as well and uh, yeah, it's got that great sort of uh, very early 90s or that more 80s vibe with the, uh, with the baseball style. So, lovely t-shirt. Next up we have a 1992 promotional Alien, uh, Aliens t-shirt. This is an XL, very boxy fit on this one, great fade to it. It's got that sort of uh, xenomorph uh, graphic, it says Alien on it as well. 
just a good fade, single stitch, nice original Aliens t-shirt. Then we have another Testament t-shirt, as you can see, Testament at the top, got the sort of Grim Reaper looking figures, uh, one, the one in the middle here is holding a heart, this is for Book of Souls, so that's 1990 as well, I believe. Just a nice single stitch, this one is 100% uh, uh, cotton, extra large, tag, uh, so yeah, just another great Testament tee for the world. Okay, next we have a Metallica t-shirt. This one is a bit more of a simple one, but it's still pretty cool. It has that completely faded tag on it, and just a small little hit on the front, and it says Metallica, it's got the snake, and uh, it says underneath it, don't tread on Europe 1992. Don't tread on me, Europe 1992. And this is a local crew t-shirt, so the crew on the tour would have worn this one. Uh, this is a single stitch t-shirt, as I say, from 1992. So this would be for the Black Album, and this would be around about halfway through that as well. Uh, as I believe the first sort of t-shirts you might see for the Metallica Black Album would be 1991, and then 1993 was one of the last releases of the singles on that album. Uh, so this is just a nice sort of midway through, midway through the tour, original crew t-shirt from Metallica. Next up we have this one here, which is a uh, Monsters of Rock t-shirt. You can't see much from the front there, but you can tell it is a baseball tee from the dark arms and sort of uh, grey body. Uh, if I turn it over, you can see more of the graphic, uh, which is Monsters of Rock 1983 there. Nice early Monsters of Rock t-shirt. This one fits more of a sort of medium or even a small, uh, but it is lovely to see a nice original Monsters of Rock tee like this in great condition as well. Uh, no tag in this one, I believe, yeah, no tag in this one, uh, but it is single stitch, it is original, and it's very nice to see. Next up we have Skid Row, this is 1990, or another great faded item here, you can see big Skid Row at the top of this one, it's the Oh Say Can You Scream graphic on this one, so it's got those sort of USA hints of colour, Oh Say Can You Scream, uh, Oh Say Can You Scream at the bottom there, great fading for this. No tag in it, but it is a beautiful uh, single stitch, wonderful fade, original 1990 Skid Row. This next t-shirt was featured in my first video, which you should also totally go and check out. Uh, this is the Joker t-shirt. It says you can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs on it. Uh, there he is, there's Jack Nicholson as the Joker on this one. Caliber tag, extra large, single stitch. This is a grail item for anyone who likes that original Batman. Just love the graphic on this one. Super crispy, 1989, and it's a good size too. It's a size extra large. Next up we have another uh, item which was included in my personal collection. Uh, in fact, I think the next few are like that. Uh, this is the Guns N' Roses t-shirt from that first video. Wonderful fade to this one, like really, really grey on this one. Lots of wear, but it's still in great condition. Uh, single stitch, just another nice Guns N' Roses for the lot. Next up is this Cult t-shirt. This is Sonic Temple on that beautiful, beautiful Screen Stars tag. One of my favourite Screen Stars tags I've seen. It's the 5050 one. Uh, yeah, it's got that strong graphic, nice colours on it. So that one's in this lot as well. Then we have the Motley Crue. Uh, this is Motley Crue 1989. This is the uncensored version. Beautiful fade to this t-shirt as well. Got the sort of snake on the dagger as, on this graphic. And as I said, the non-censored back print. Uh, crew fans are the best. F the rest on the back of this one. Single stitch, a lovely historic piece for the box. Then we have the David uh, Bowie Sound and Vision Tour. This is another white tee for the lot. Nice XL size on this one. Got Bowie there, stood legs, legs agape, if you will. Uh, yeah, there we are, wonderful. Sound and Vision Tour. Nice faded tag, single stitch as well. Then we have the uh, MLK t-shirt, I Have a Dream, uh, all over this one, MLK big print on this one, it's his face, all over print, uh, so front and back is the same on this one. As I say, if you want to see what these t-shirts look like when they're unfolded, uh, check out my first video, my collection video, you can see them on display a bit better there, I show them on hangers in that video. So we had the Metallica t-shirt earlier from 1992, and this is the long sleeve from 1993, so the end of that sort of black album phase. 
Uh, it's got the big snake graphic on this one, uh, front and back. Uh, sad but true down one of the arms on this one, uh, Metallica on the other arm. Wonderful cracking to this uh, item. Yeah, so just a really nice t-shirt, single stitch, uh, long sleeve Metallica. Then we have the Soundgarden t-shirt. This is the Soundgarden with the little front hit there with their logo. Bad motor finger this one's for on an Airfix tag. This is a long sleeve. Uh, got another sort of bit of graphic down the sleeve on this one too. But yeah, just a nice bit of Soundgarden for the lot. Then we have the Division Bell t-shirt. This is on the Brockham XL tag with the original uh, merchandise booklet inside. Uh, it's also got the original sticker on it too. Uh, it's got the two big heads facing each other there. I showed you the bootleg earlier. This is the official one that would have been a, you could have bought at the concert, not in the parking lot of the concert. Uh, so yeah, this is just a great Pink Floyd item. The fact that it's got the booklet and the sticker and the badge attached to it is just crazy. So that's a fantastic item for the box. We've got a, so this one's crazy because it's still got the, um, the Pink Floyd book attached to it on the Brockham tag, Pink Floyd shirt. So it's dead stock, crazy shirt. It's got the pin and the book and the sticker too, well, 1994. Then we have this Nine Inch Nails t-shirt. This is on the Screen Stars tag. It's from the year 2000. Uh, it's Things Falling Apart. Uh, yeah, so just nice little sort of Nine Inch Nails front hit there and the name of the album on the back of it. Long sleeve as well. Here we have the Def Leppard Hysteria T. Def Leppard at the top with that wonderful graphic by Andy Airfix on the front there. Uh, great quality item, single stitch. Uh, nice wear to this one, great cracking. 1987 as well, this one. Then we have the all over print Jurassic Park tee with the big T-Rex on it. This is an all over print front and back. Uh, this is on an extra large 100% cotton tag. Not single stitch this one, but that is what uh, they were at the time. As I said, this is a promotional for the first Jurassic Park, so it's 1992, not 1993. Uh, lovely all over print. Uh, yeah, a really good item for the lot. This is probably one of the more valuable items in this box, I would say. I've actually almost bought this shirt like three times for myself. Um, it's a 1992 Jurassic Park all over print, front and back. Amazing shirt. And then finally, we have the Nirvana tee. This is from the muddy banks of the whisker on the back of this one in my first video as well, if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, this is on a nice crumpled sort of Screen Stars original tee tag single stitch as well and I'm glad there's some Nirvana in this box to match all the other fantastic artists that are included in this lot. Uh, so that's the final t-shirt. So those are all of the items that are included in my latest wholesale box to Rally Roots. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking through the items with me. Uh, I'm going to parcel them up all securely now. I'm going to put them in uh, bin liners and then package this up nice and thoroughly and it'll be off to the USA in the next couple of days. Uh, so as I say, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you give me a subscribe and a like if you have liked the video. I'll be putting out more content soon. I've got some lovely Scooby-Doo items at the moment as I collect vintage Scooby-Doo items. Uh, so I think the next video I do might be a vintage Scooby-Doo collection. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Uh, thank you again and stay safe everyone.